Welcome friends, once again here is another problem of geometric sequence. Question is saying here which term of the geometric sequence 2, 1, 1 half, 1 4, dash, dash, dash is 1 over 128. Let me first write the sequence we have got. We have got the sequence 2, that's our first term, 1 our second term, 1 by 2 our third term, 1 by 4 that's our fourth term and so on. Right? So from here I can now easily write that our first term is 2 and our common ratio is uh, the succeeding term over the preceding term so I am taking a2 by a1 and our succeeding term that's 1 and our preceding term a1 that's 2 so 1 by 2 or you can say simply half is our common ratio now we need to find out which term of uh, which term of this geometric sequence is 128 means when 1 by 128 come which term it is right which term it is what is what is the value of exactly this nth I can say that uh, n may be 100 uh, n may be uh, 28 n may be 32 it may be anything right it may be 32 term it may be 40 term it may be 60 term it may be any term I don't know that I, that I have to find out exactly so uh, I can say that a nth this I'm supposing right it's just late a nth term is 1 by 128 I can suppose right and recently we had learned this uh, formula for the nth term and that is our a times r to the power n minus 1 equals to 1 upon 128 right now we have all the values so let's put we know the a we know the r so let me put here first term is here our 2 right see here this is 2 first term and then the common ratio is half so let me put the value 1 by 2 to the power n minus 1 equals to 1 over 128 right again now see here 1 by 2 to the power n minus 1 here 2 is multiplying this part so when this will this 2 will go in another side this side right it will divide actually it will divide here so it will be 1 by 128 times 1 by 2 right this 2 is multiplying here it will be dividing that is 1 over 128 times 2 that is 256 right so finally what we get we get that 1 by 2 to the power n minus 1 is equals to 1 over 256 now let's see here this is 256 let me do the prime factorization of this 2 times 1 and then 2 twos are 4 right and then 16 8 so again 2 times 64 is 128 2 times 32 is 64 2 times 16 is our 32 again 2 times 8 is our 16 again 2 times 4 is 8 again 2 times 2 is 4 and 2 times 1 is actually 2 so what I get here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 it means it is 1 over 2 to the power 8 right so now what I can write that uh, 1 by 2 to the power n minus 1 equals to 1 by 2 to the power 8 because 1 to the power 8 is again 1 uh, so again yeah again 1 so now see here what we get here yes see here the same base has n minus 1 power here and again same base has here 8 power so now I can easily equate that n minus 1 is equal with 8 right so here I can say that n minus 1 is equals to 8 this gives us n equals to 9 it means ninth term has the value 1 over 128 means here in this sequence ninth term right a n has the value 1 over 128 like this you need to find out the number of the term which term exactly is this much here right so here is 1 over 128 and the sequence we have got here like this but in your question question you know the sequence can be any type and you can easily get the first term and common ratio once you get the first term and the common ratio and uh, if you have the nth term just use the formula of general term general term formula use apply here and get the value of n right and for that you know you need to equate both uh, left hand side and right hand side both uh, should have the same base and power maybe anything and just equate the power later 
once you get the same base and you will get the value of n that's your number of the term right like this you need to solve this concept problem and we'll be doing more problems that will clear your more concept in geometric sequence right so we'll be meeting in the next video bye bye